Zach Schmidt will put it in the air to get us started. Arizona. And thanks for staying up late with us tonight. From inside the one, Celestine slices his way to the 19 yard line. On first down, they want to throw. Fafita has it knocked out of his hand and it falls incomplete. Hands off the edge, they're number 40. Arizona. Deep in total offense. Pressure from the edge. Fafita gets wrapped up as he finds Ted McMillan. His high school teammate takes it into OU territory before Reggie Pearson brings him down after a second and eight. And there's T Mac with a catch in the slot. Another first down. Two blitz to replace, and he turns right in, shows Fafita his eyes, and another. The gain is 16 and a fresh set of downs. Bunch of shuffling going on. In addition to that, McMillan gets bottled up. It's a loss of nearly two yards. Fafita pressured, backtracking, lets it go, and that is incomplete. Good coverage on the back end on Tanner McLaughlin to tie it in. This is the way he's going to find a throwing lane. This is a risky throw, though, with Danny Stutzman, 6'4 linebacker, and underneath coverage right there. And that one's good. Pressure coming from his left side over the middle and intercepted by Arizona. They've been a takeaway team all season and they get another on Oak. Short field for the Wildcats. Fafita wants to go deep, wants it all. He's got it all. Jacob Callaway from 35. Quick hitters from Arizona, 10-0 catch. And that is a bullet for a completion to Nick Anderson, who is immediately swarmed after it took over for Jane Delora, who was a starter to begin the season. This is the tight end, Tanner McLaughlin. He takes it nearly to the 30. Delora has been a great mentor to him as a teammate. On the ground with Jonah Coleman, and that was a big hole and an Arizona first down. Trying to use Raymond Polito as a decoy there, the opposite side of that screen. On second and 12, five-man rush. Fafita got hit as he threw, and he's able to find Cowling at the sideline. Another huge play. Yeah, to pat that on Fafita, lets it go to the sideline high. Austin Dorp trying to angle it to the corner, and it carries into the end zone. And then address the defense here, too. That one got out through traffic. It stoops. Bob's boy picks up 10. Arnold steps away from trouble. There's a flag down, likely another holding. And Stogner delivered a hit. And there's an injured player down for Arizona. A funny bone, and it's buzzing. You can see as he gets his right shoulder in there. Stunned in contact there with Austin. Looking to go deep, it stoops down the sideline, and it's another pick! Arizona's got her Maldonado! On the sideline right there in between coverage, that's got to be 18 to 22 yards. Any deeper, you get that free safety time to get over. And that's just what a young quarterback's used to. Incomplete, trying to find McJr. from Lucas, Texas. It would have been good. 60 it felt like it's mental that first interception that was a cut technique that an experienced quarterback would know a defense is going to do young quarterback that's not in his repertoire yet late on a throw that you got to know has got to hit before 22 yards Texas got an eye on him early it was funny how he first discovered him goes to Anderson for a first down here the cheerleading squad at a ninth grade football game and he came back he said coach their freshman quarterback is so good, we need to offer him now. There's a flag down on another completion. Third. They motion Stogner out. And a quarterback run for Jackson Arnold. He was in. Came to the line of scrimmage on a third and seven and checked to a slant. We're starting to see some hands on the hips of this Arizona defense. That's what this. Walker. Walker's an interesting. Something as simple as finding a scholarship. Down the sideline, and what a catch. And they say out of bounds and incomplete to the top. Boy, and so close there. Again, remember Takari. 
Swing pass. Saw Chuck. Stays on his feet. Oklahoma first down and inside the 20. Gavin Sawchuk again. Touchdown, Oklahoma. <laughs> to be a high-scoring affair, the Sooners trying to pull their way. Schmidt remains perfect in his career on extra points. Over the middle, McLaughlin with the catch, and that's a pickup of five. On play action. Tight end cover. They nearly picked it off. They did. Oklahoma interception. They wanted to take the shot downfield to Jacob Cowling. Coverage was there by Billy Bowman, so this is just late. Nope. Arnold over the middle. Complete for a first down. Farouk inside the 10, but loss of football. And may have just gifted it right back to the Wildcats. Fafita, deep drop. Deep throw to midfield, and what an adjustment by McMillan. All that in like a punt returner. Throws his body in front of Kanick, giving Noah Fafita just enough time. And that's one of those that you go, hey, number four. He was a sophomore when he made his first start, 2005. Bounce out for Sacha. First down, plenty more. All the way to midfield. Gavin Sacha inside the 30. Gunnar Maldonado finally tracked him down. In the big game. Arnold, plenty of time as the pocket holds. Now he leaves it, and after the clutch, nearly picked off. It ends up. It is really the, the catch. Field was a completion. Areas of the football field where, with a young quarterback. Arnold leaves the pocket straight ahead. Nobody there. First down run into the 10. Saw Chuck in a tailback on second and goal. Arnold pressure from behind, doesn't see it, floats back in the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma, Nick Anderson. That is an unbelievable job by Nick Anderson. Looks like he secures it. That might be even be good on Sundays with the toe drag. And I love the decision. Zach Schmidt punches it through, and it's a 14-13 Oklahoma advantage. Look how difficult that throw is. With pressure on him, sprinting to the left. Put it third and five. Pressure up the middle. They pick it up. And now Arnold's got a scramble. And the righty going to his left gets escorted out of bounds. And there is this game tonight. And start the third quarter with an end around. It's Gavin Freeman. And Freeman with a hard all gets past the 35. Wanting to go deep. Got a man on a post run. And is caught at the 15. Brennan tops it into the end zone. Quick strike Oklahoma from 63 yards. Zach Schmidt for the point after. And Oklahoma with 21 unanswered. God using tempo to not give Arizona enough time to really communicate what they wanted that protection, or excuse me, coverage to look like. Ended up being a huge play. Oh, Jackson on. Mm. The way he responded in the second quarter. Holds it back and fires a strike. And Brennan Thompson lost the football at the end. Arizona with the return for Dalton Johnson. Cut back, Johnson. And Thompson is injured on the play. I mean, Irby doing his best Peanut Tillman impression again. Trying to punch that one out. It did look like he was down, though. I think the side of the leg goes down before Irby's able to get it. was a catch and a fumble recovered by the defense. Yeah, I think, that, I think the ground. Jackson Arnold looking over the middle. It is complete wide open is Drake Stoops. Brent Venables called Stoops the most competitive. High school in Norman. On second down into the end zone. It's Stoops. And there's a flag. On the throw, he had one-on-one -on -one coverage. 
against a nickel corner, about five yards of separation. You'd want that one up a little grass to work with. Arnold straight ahead, ran into a wall, can't escape. Er Punches it. Arnold on the run, was looking deep. There's a flag back where holding would be. Lost the high energy bedlam game here. Stoops, high steps through a tackle, then got rocked. And lost his helmet on the hit from Jacob Manu. It's the formation. You see there the big hit on Stu. Jacob Manu. Well, he spun right into it, didn't he? He's Cole mentioned how much of a competitor he is in every way possible. So you just saw him. Big breath. I know you're receiver in four seasons dating back to CD Lamb. Here's Nick Anderson. Anderson slips through. And he takes it down inside the 25. A it's a redemption tour for Milrow to the slant. Spawn intercepted. Arizona gets the break that they need. It's Gunnar Maldonado. He's got blockers. Here goes number nine. Stoops, the last man to beat. Touchdown, Arizona. 88 yard return for Gunnar Maldonado. Second. Fafita dancing, having time. Now he's going to try to get out of trouble. Fires, and they get the conversion to Montana Lamonius Craig. And now all of a sudden, the U of A fans are making their voice. Dalton Johnson, number 43, come through and get his helmet right on the back of the football. Jalil Farouk never saw him coming, and it's Maldonado. With an, with an escort into the end zone there, Stooks lead blocking for him. Look at that, Stooks was in coverage in the tackle, then he ends up being the lead block. guys that were in on the coverage play, then were the lead blockers for Maldonado. Well, Arizona couldn't figure it out. Boy, to sack from downs. what I say? The craftiness and the creativity. Travel for in logistics for the Arizona football team. Another pick taken away by Irby. What a superstar. And now, Cole, they're coming to you. His high school teammate, the quarterback. Fafita goes the other way. Incomplete the flags and pass interference coming. Pressure from the edge. Fafita backpedaling and he went down. All the way back at the 22. On the right there, swipes the right hand with his. Turns the corner. This from 37. And he drills it. We got a tie game with 12.40. Pressure again. Fafita fires to T-Mac. He's got a first down at the 25-yard line. A lot of movement for Oklahoma. That's complete to McMillan. First down, plenty more. They stack the line of scrimmage. Fafita rolls, fires on the run. What a throw and catch. Cowering down the sideline. He is in. Touchdown. This Valero Alamo Bowl as up for the point after. It is a seven point U of A lead. And yet Stoops open, goes outside, and that's complete for a first down to Farouk. Everybody covered. Arnold, and there's a flag for holding again. He uncorks it deep. This is Gibson, and it's through his hands. Price up. Arnold pressured with three, lost the football. It's another Oklahoma turnover. Scooped up by the Cats. Their sixth takeaway tonight. Isaiah Ward forced it out. What a job by this U of A defense. Take the nose guard. He's going to come off right now. Right to that looper. Pick that up. There's no way a three-man rush should beat five offensive linemen like that. That's a big mistake by Troy Everett, the center right there. Takeaway game for Arizona since August. Of Three minutes to play. Wide open hole and a touchdown for DJ Williams. 19 yard score for Arizona. The running game was non existent. That is the longest rush of the night. I 
out of the way. Nobody on the second level because of all that lateral movement. Look, wide open. DJ Williams. That's a big boy, one man to beat. Four straight points to take an 11 point lead. Arizona has answered what are certainly better days ahead for Jackson Arnold as he makes his first start tonight. They're able to pick up a first down on the throw to Sawchuck, who takes it past midfield. He did it the right way. He wanted this Arizona program to have patience, as you see, mm. starter transferring into a program that was 1 in 11. Fourth and 28, and the freshman's going to try to run for it with a game on the line. And oh, got him. Wear it. He fought through adversity for four quarters to pull away at the end here and win this one 38-24.